Okay, so today we're going to show you how to set up Lavu to go and also show you how it rings in on the system. So basically, go to your settings here. Click on Lavu to go, it's here on the left hand side over here. And from there, you'll be able to activate Lavu to go. You just have to check this box that says turn on Lavu to go. Uh, using optional modifiers, obviously, if you're a place that has options, um, people you want to be able to select or not select, you'll use optional modifiers. If you want to force them to use just your force modifiers, you will uncheck this box. So, you know, there's some options there, but if you are going to check this, make sure your optional modifiers are descriptive and obvious and can be easily deciphered by any basic user. Okay. Next, you have your Lava to Go URL. So this is your unique URL. Uh, so ours is lavatogo.com slash mercantile, which links to our demo account. So if you want to see it live, you can go ahead and use that one and just run some demo stuff there. Again, it links to a, a demo account on our side, so any of the transactions won't really go through. So feel free to try whatever you want on the, the slash mercantile site. You can put whatever you want here, so your business name or anything like that. And then from your website, you can link out to it. Your other option is you can also embed this code right here into your website, which allows you to point to it and still have it on your site. So this gets a little bit above our uh, abilities here, but most website designers understand exactly how this works with an iframe and can embed this in your website. So it's a great thing to add the online ordering to and increase revenue just simply by adding a, the option for your customers to, to work on. So next thing in your lava to go settings, uh, you're going to be able to select the times when you want to be able to do it. So maybe you only want it during breakfast or maybe during lunch or um, certain times of the day where you're not busy. Um, so you can do anything there as, as far as setting that up. So 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. is what we have set up here. Numbers of days in advance. So we have our set up for zero. So you only order the day of the transaction. If you're doing anything for catering or you maybe only have your catering menu online, you can increase the number of days for advanced ordering on here. The uh, minimum number of time for order notice, so ours is at five minutes, means we can basically cook the order in five minutes. This is normally the, the time frame you want to give yourself and your cooks to be able to order it. So if we said 30 minutes, and right now it's 4.38 p.m., this means that the earliest that they would be allowed to pick it up is 5.38, sorry, 5.08 p.m. So this makes sure you give yourself plenty of notice and your cooks plenty of time to go ahead and cook, plate, and get the order ready before you send it out. Um, enable in-app polling, nothing that is very important in your world, but if you want to go ahead and do some in-app polling, you can. Cell phone carrier, if you want to do text messaging, so you can have your text messages here or your email alerts here. Both you can separate with commas and you can have multiple people texted when the online order is completed and multiple people email when an order is completed. What most of our clients do here is whoever the manager on duty is, maybe it's a general Gmail account that forwards to the manager on duty or they change this part of their day to day, they log in, okay, the manager on duty, put your email address in here, or put your cell phone number in here, and then, then you're gonna go ahead and get those texts when those happen. The last bit of settings here is the Lavu to go customer settings. Now for this, this is, uh, you know, pickup only, delivery and pickup only. So if you're using the delivery module, this is great because you can go ahead and allow them to have delivery. Uh, and some people only use the Lavu to go for pickup, or only bars at pickup. The other big one here is, you know, I recommend the prepay only, it means you're gonna get your payment before the transaction is completed, which means your customer is going to show up to pick up that Lava to go option. Uh, you can also do payment upon receipt only, which means they show up and they pay when they get there or prepay or payment upon receipt option. That's what we're going to go ahead and choose. So I can show you both options when we actually log into the back end. But um, again, we recommend the prepay only option simply because you are guaranteed to get your money because someone's putting your credit card information in. Now you may lose out on clients who don't have credit cards and other things like that but it's on you to decide what kind of risks you want to take as a restaurant owner. And then you go ahead and press submit. And the next thing we'll show you is the, how to set up the menu for Lava to Go. The menu for Lava to Go is pretty straightforward about choosing which items you want on your menu to go ahead and, and allow your customers to order. So let's go ahead and go into one of ours, which is maybe our dinner here. And maybe for our dinner, we only want certain items that are able to be ordered. Maybe the cheese tray we want on Lava to Go, but the tuna bites we don't. So you'll just check the box next to Lava to Go for the tuna bites. And now once we save this, now the only thing on the Lava to Go will be the cheese tray and everything else Lava to Go checkbox marked. So it's pretty straightforward for that. So the next step would be to actually show you how these items show up on the menu for Lava to Go. We're going to open a new window here and it's just going to be Lava to Go 
Facebook.com slash mercantile. Now when this site pulls up, it looks very similar to your Lavu checkout. If you embedded this using those embedded app features in your website, it would just cut out this frame and just show the menu portion on your website. So it looks pretty cool when it has, you know, your logos behind it and your website looking very similar. So again, you're going to see all the options just like you normally do on the top there. We'll go and go to that dinner option and appetizers. As you can see, we only have a cheese tray. This is a huge other big issue is, you know, so you're going to see there's some green boxes here on our site as well as some with pictures. So you definitely, when you're doing Lava to Go, if you can take pictures of your items as much as possible, you have some stock photos of your items, that's going to be good to help actually sell the item. So we're going to maybe say, oh, I'm with a chicken a la king, and then I, here's your force modifiers. So with a side salad, um, I want the side salad to be Caesar. Okay, I'm also going to get French fries. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. So any customers ordering this on their phone, their iPad, or their computer, you know, if they're young-ish, you know, and they understand how to go and click through on a POS, they'll have no problems ordering in your online menu. Uh, let's go ahead and do another one just so you can see it. So we're going to go ahead and add a dessert. And we're going to go ahead and do, let's just do some desserts. So we're going to do this blueberry parfait and a blueberry ice cream. Great. So at this point here, you're going to go ahead and have your totals. Let's see what that is, how much the tax is going to be in the grand total. And then from there, it's pretty straightforward. You just go ahead and press the checkout button. You're going to put your information in. This is something that you can require as much as you want on this, but this is pretty straightforward. Um, you, know, you know, they want the phone number, they want, um, they want everything else as far as, you know, so you can contact the customer. So you make it all required email address. Yeah, email address here. Then the pickup dates and times. Okay, so again, we only gave it one day for pickup, so it's pretty straightforward there. Pickup time, it's only allows us to do 5.15, because now it's half an hour from the 4.43, so the nearest pickup time is gonna be that. And I think put in an in increments of five on here, all the way up until closing time. So you can see the closing time out here is 11 p.m. So again, your time frames are important because it gives you those time frames which people can select to pick up, and that's like that. Um, you press the pay now button, it'll bring up the credit card processing and host and check out there. Let's go ahead and go back. And we'll bring in some more stuff and I'll show you the pickup one as well. Check out again. We're gonna put some fake information here. And we're gonna pay at pickup. And we're gonna put in valid information. Hit pickup. And so this will actually send the order right to the system and it's the order complete. I will show you. So now we're going to review what shows up when you actually run a Lava to go order. So I'm going to go ahead and get logged in here. And so what will happen is in your open orders, you'll see this little green up, dot up here. It means you have an open Lava to go order. I'm going to go ahead and send another one so you'll see how that works. I just sent a paper pickup order through. And so what will happen is the Lavu to go system will sync up with a Lavu to go order and it'll show that you have a new order has been entered. It does also make that loud ding and gives you the, the either the text or email, whatever you decided to do. So if we go ahead and go to your open orders, Lavu to go orders will show up now. You've turned on Lava to Go. And then from here, you'll see our two Lava to Go orders. They'll show as unpaid, which is highlighted up here, because this is a pickup one, and they would show as paid as if, if you did the credit card integration side. So a couple things have to happen here. You do have to reopen the order. So under your edit button over here, bring the order up, and you still have to send it to the kitchen. So this is the com most common request is that Lava to Go, they wanna go ahead and make it automatically go to the kitchen. That's the only downside allowed to go right now that we can see is basically you still have to open it up and you still have to click the send button for it to go to the kitchen. Okay, printer's not hooked up, so we had an error, but it would go to the kitchen for that and show it's sent. Uh, from there, you basically go right back into your dining room and continue your on, on your day as far as that goes. They'll still show up here as open orders until the order is checked out. So again, we'll go back into this, go to our allowed to go orders, and We'll have that order still sitting there and the other order as well. 
So let's go ahead and go into the order again, go to our edit button. We'll see that it's been sent, okay? Usually we assign someone who's a server or the manager assigned to the lob to go to make sure things get sent. Uh, you'll be able to see what when it was sent compared to when it's being picked up, stuff like that. Um, and then from here, once the person comes to pick it up, we'll go to our checkout. And again, if they prepaid online, you don't have to do any of this. You'll just hand them their food and off they go. But then you can go ahead and close out for cash. Completes the transaction. We'll go ahead and do no receipt. And then continue. And you'll see that the Lavu open orders will go away for that transaction. So now we only have the other Lavu to go left. So that's how you keep track of your Lavu to go orders and when they're going. Um, so if you have any additional questions for us, feel free to give us a call the number right here, 1 800 518 5020. We can connect you with a specialist or we can walk you through an in house setup.